Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Zone here, welcoming you back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, so many things happened to us that you cannot grasp the true form of my stress. Anyway, so you come over here and you can actually, um, uh, use your attack to destroy a pile of wood there. And there's, if you notice on the, uh, command menu, under Y, it says dig, so you can actually do that here. And it's really kind of nasty because your butt goes underground and everything, like, you think he'd suffocate or something, but, I don't know. It's just kind of just the way he inserts himself in there, and he fits so perfectly. It's like it's nasty or something. Huh? I guess you're not completely stupid after all. Hey, that's because I'm really a human, but you don't know that, do you? Listen, I like you, Ugh. so I think I'll get you out of here. You'll get me out of here. Quit playing with my ears. Don't touch the ears, man. Okay. Z to give you a sign. So we're all clear. Good. Let's get going. Can you tell me a little bit about what, what this, where we are? Why this, like, look at this world. I mean, this is like the strangest thing. Wait, are we outside the cage again? Oh, duh. What's in the other cage? Let's take a look. Ah, uh, there's a switch. What's that? Try pressing L after that. Well, you'll figure it out. Okay. Boom, okay. Apparently made an A command appear. So I guess that's what we were supposed to do. Yeah, see all those black things floating around? This is definitely the toilet world, let me tell you. All those clinkers floating around in the air. I'll tell you. It's going through a tunnel, it looks really cool. It looks like Banjo-Kazooie. What is this? It's great balls of fire. <laughs> well, well, want to see something interesting? You're a beast. Press A to hone your senses and poke around. Senses. Whoa! Oh, oh my god! Get away, it's a guy, it's a ghost. Oh, I'm scared of ghosts, I'm scared of ghosts, I'm scared of ghosts, I'm scared of... Okay, well, let's check it out. I'm dicking around here. You can actually listen to what he says. He says, oh, can't run away farther. That's far enough, right? I'll be safe here, I think. What was that noise? Don't, don't anything come near me! So, I'm not sure what exactly the connection is between the two worlds, because it seems like, yeah, Soldier Spirit is somewhere from the other world. I mean, basically, the Twilight World is kind of like the Dark World. It's basically parallel to the main world. And uh, certain things can affect what happens in the other world. I mean, you don't use that a lot, but... Yeah, let's switch up here, you gotta hit... Wait, let me make sure I... Yeah, there's one of these places where there's two switches, actually. Or there's one dead end where there's two, but I think that must have opened this door. I doubt you're used to your new body, I guess I'll just tell you. Think about how you fought enemies in your human form. Just because your shape has changed doesn't mean your instincts have to. That's pretty true, too. Um, anytime you see your hand come out like that, it means you can target something, so watch for that. And it'll make a lot more sense. And we have a heart. That's nice. <coughs> yeah, I pretty much tried to... Okay, spikes, don't want to touch them. But down here... Ooh, see? Another switch. And that opens this door over here, which I don't think we need to go in there yet, but... I want to check it out anyway. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, why would you want to go in there when you just come around this way? Well, probably because there's something up there that you can't... Okay, whatever. <laughs> Ooh, we got another one here. It's more toilet paper. This one's actually important because it releases a big stream of water into the world. So I assume that since you did that here, it happened in the light world too. So what happens is, like, if somebody was in the light world watching, they would see that thing move by itself. Oh shoot, I bet you this thing is on a timer too, isn't it? I forget if it is or not, but yeah, whatever. I kind of like swimming as a wolf. He's pretty fast. You'll find yourself turning into a wolf a lot just because of how fast he is. This, I think, is the dead end that has two switches. No? Yes. So make sure you get both of them. You're going to want to drain the water back out or else you'll be uh, screwing yourself because there will be places that are inaccessible. Wait, what's my time at right now? Oh, 440. Okay. Alright. So we're just kind of making our way through this weird-ass world. Oh, we got something else. Another switch? Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and, uh... Oops, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, so these, um... These guys are like little... So I don't even know how to describe them. Stop picking it up. I want to throw it. There we go. Well, I can push an A. That's why. Jeez. Okay, rupees. Box. Box biting time. That was strange. Okay. Whoops. Excuse me. Pardon me. Wait, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, no fair, man. This way, over here. 
I'll be waiting for you, but you'll have to help yourself for a change. Well, that's very nice of you. Thank you very much. Now make like a tree and get out of here. It's leave, you idiot! Make like a tree and leave! What does this guy have to say? Wait, I wanna listen. What are these black things? Where are they coming from? And how do we get out of here? Okay, um, he said black things as if he could see them too, I don't know. Yeah, I love how he just shakes them out of his mouth and he's like, fuck you, or screw you. Okay, so I guess I did miss a switch somewhere. I could have sworn I hit him all, though. I'm telling you, man. Oh, okay, here we go. Did you get out of here? Enter. Believe it or not, on my practice file, I actually died in this segment. Because it's dangerous. You only got three hearts, and it's like... <coughs> Let's see what we got here. Another guy cowering in terror. Please, I am but a lowly soldier. Please, someone save me from these evil creatures. Ah! Okay. There you are. <laughs> ee -hee. Did the detour tire you out, little wolf? No. By the way, are you using X to hone your senses like you should? Looks like the spirits in here, they're all soldiers. Where in the world could we be? We must be in a castle, I would think. Could it be Hyrule Castle? Hmm. I guess that remains to be seen. Circular staircase. What is this, Final Fantasy IX? Jeez. Oh, except this one's a little different because you have ropes that you have to climb across. And this world is so messed up. Well, I assume you have to try to make the jump and then you won't make it. What are you doing? I'm messing around. What does it look like? That's where we came in. Right? It has to be. It has to be! <sighs> okay. Now sometimes she'll come up with a little Z command and she's like, I guess I have to do everything for you. Look, I'll show you all the small ledges. So just L target me and press A to jump to where I am. The Eltar direction is where she is. Simple enough. And that can be extremely useful. You'll always know when you have to do it because the command will pop up and it's really obvious, so... Yeah, you can't miss it. There's a rope there we could climb across. I'm just gonna keep going. It gets a little dangerous fighting as a wolf sometimes because of the way you jump around. You're prone to, like, knock yourself off the side of a cliff or something in the process, so... So when you're fighting monsters, especially in tight corners like this, you wanna... Just watch yourself. You gotta watch yourself when doing this, too, because if you do it too fast, sometimes it'll it'll glitch out, or not, not really glitch out, but it'll just mess you up. And Because uh, I'm not sure exactly how the jumps are calculated, but it's it's prone to error, so... Let us, oh, it closed in under us, how about that? Cool. Let's get another heart here. We have a door, but as a wolf you can't open doors, at least not right now, anyway. Later on in the temple you'll be able to. So let's head on over here. Oops. No, we don't want to go down the stairs again. I'm trying to. Wait a second. Hold on a second. What am I missing here? Can we just go to it? Well, there must be like I have to sense something or dig somewhere or something. Is it raining in here? Oh wait, I know what it is. Okay, here you go. So you got to get up on this platform and then you'll get a Z command. You know where we are yet? Haha. <laughs> well, if you go into the top, you might figure it out. Yeah, that can take a while to figure out, because that's like just a little platform, you don't think to just jump onto that, because there's nothing there. You can see it plainly, there's nothing there. So... But that's... <coughs> oh, man. Was that a Triforce symbol on the ledge there, I think it was? I'm not sure. Oh, we got 927 for the time. Oh, man, these birds in this world, they sound so hilarious. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's just so funny. Look at all the clinkers, man. So we were finally able to get out. And look at the sky. Isn't the black cloud of twilight looking beautiful today? Do you know where this is? You still don't know? Well, there's someone I want to introduce you to. I'll need you to go to that tower to do it. Okay, well, let's try and get as much of this through as we can before the time runs out here. You can use A to dash, and Link will continue to dash for several seconds after you press, press the button. And uh, eventually he'll go back to his normal speed. Pretty much like Yupona, actually. Or even spirits up here. Yeah, this actually kind of becomes important later, plot-wise, that you, where you can hear people but they can't see you. What are these monstrous birds? Where in the world is what in the world is happening here? Our poor Hyrule Castle. Oh well, I guess that explains it. Maybe this really is Hyrule Castle. That wasn't the person I wanted you to meet, by the way. Let's just try to get to that tower. Okay, so anyway, over here and push this box here. 
we can use it as a stepping stone to get up here. And jump, and jump. It's fun, fun, fun. Okay, here, check out this bird. Listen to this. Oh, uh, well, he didn't really make this sound. At least I didn't hear it. It's like my TV got pretty low, though. Anyway, uh, I've got to be closing in on this time limit here, so I'm going to try and hurry and get to the... Uh, get to a safe stop point here. Holy crap. Yeah, I almost always use A to attack these guys. Mostly because B is a ground attack, and you really can't do much with that, so... At least not against a flying enemy, you can't. Am I doing this right? I'm supposed to be getting down there. I have to get across there. Maybe there's a Z command somewhere. Yep, that's what I figured. You know, all else fails. <laughs> so, walk on, walk on, walk on. We made it. Okay, so in the next episode, we're going to head across this roof and see what's on the other side. So, I will see you next time on Let's Play Twilight Princess. See you later, guys.